Hey everybody, Bones here, Bones Garage, just bringing you the update what's going on at the garage. So, 1970 Dodge Super B. We have her all done, she's ready to go home. We're just waiting for the owner to come and pick her up. Had a few little issues with her. The first one was when he would turn on his lights, they would blow the fuse. And then we found that the light bulb in here went bad. Um, what actually happened is the center electrode on the back side of the bulb is surrounded by a plastic insulator. Well, the insulator broke, the center electrode, the positive side, touched the negative side, caused the dead short, blowing the fuse. Not a big deal, put a new bulb in, put it back together, perfect, everything worked there. Then we had another issue, and that was with the starting of the car. It would start up, start up, start up, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it wouldn't start up. So we went ahead and pulled the starter out of it. And once we got the starter out, I'm going to put the phone down for a second so you're going to see nothing but red. So we pulled the starter out of her. And, of course, you know, the starters were all way down over there. See that way down there right there? That's the starter way down there. So pull the old starter out, checked it, it worked, it worked, it worked, and it wouldn't work. Knew the starter was bad, so we went ahead, got a mini starter from a Dodge Dakota 318 or 57. They fit right into these trucks, uh, these cars. So that wasn't a big deal. Then we had a problem with the battery cable uh, terminals. The ends were pinched all the way over and touching right here. So you couldn't get it tight enough to hold it onto the top terminal there. So we went ahead, cut those off, took, made up our own, put them on the uh, marine style terminals. And now all you got to do is just turn the wing nut, pull the wing nut off, and you could take the positive and or the negative off and disconnect your battery. Another nice, easy fix. Not a big deal. Well, now we come to the hard part. We have three gauges on the dashboard. Actually, those three. One, two, three. And then we have the, the uh, and meter. These three gauges work on five volts. Problem we were having is the oil pressure gauge wouldn't work. There is a printed circuit board on the back of these. And I'll show you that in a minute. Um, they also have a voltage reducer to bring the voltage from 12 volts to 5 volts. Well, the printed circuit board had sh had uh, a short in it, which shorted this gauge out, and that's why it wasn't working. So we had to get everything, you know, you have to take the steering wheel down, the whole column has to be dropped, then the whole dashboard's got to come back, and everything's got to be unplugged, the dashboard, you got to take everything off, pop that out, put the new one in, put the new printed circuit board in, and then get it all working. Well, now they work. So when you turn on the key, you'll see the temperature will go up. The fuel gauge will go up. They're just really slow. Um, it's just because of the way that they work. And if I push down on the clutch, turn the key, she'll start up and you'll see that the oil pressure goes up nicely now. And there it goes. And the and meter also works. So we now have everything working on this car, which is really nice. It's such a nice car. I really like keeping these all working well. And if you give me a second, I'll show you that printed circuit board that I was talking about. Hang on, be right back. So now that we have all the old parts out, I can show you. This is the old oil pressure gauge. There's the new oil pressure gauge right there. That's the old oil pressure gauge. This is your printed circuit board right here. And the way this works is this is your ground. Uh, no, this is your power for all your lights, that first post. The second post is your 12 volts for your, uh, amp, uh, uh, your volt reduction unit which goes right in here and it takes the voltage from 12 volts and brings it down here to 5 volts when it comes out this is your ground 
and then these are all your ground circuit here so that's all ground then when it comes out of here it'll follow this tracer up and this is the power for each one of these gauges and if you look on the back of the gauge that's your ground that's your power so you have to have those plugged into these right here and that's the way they go in okay well right there it would go so it'll go like that so there's your power uh, that's your power sorry that's your power that's your signal and that would go in like that so you would tighten it up here which would give you your 5 volts to your gauge then your signal's going to come in follow this tracer here to that terminal there and that will tell the oil pressure gauge how many pounds of oil you have at whatever rpm you're doing and the same thing for your water temperature and your fuel gauge so your water temperature would go here that terminal there would be the signal for your water temperature your oil pressure would go here this terminal would be the signal for your oil, uh, oil pressure and then this terminal would be your signal for your fuel gauge which would go there and again that is 5 volts um, water temperature uh, fuel gauge uh, signal 5 volts oil pressure signal 5 volts water temperature signal 12 volts converted to 5 volts ground for that for these three terminals and then your ground for your lights so this would be a light that would be a light and that would be a light so that's how the printed circuit board works but if you look here you can see it fried at some point in its life right there and right there plus the terminals are all loose you could see I could just shake them around a little boom there they go see how loose they are um, these two had already broken off and that is the reason why the gauge wasn't working so there you go there's how a quick lesson on these and remember these are only 5 volts if you put 12 volts to this you will instantly burn them out you'll let all the smoke out and remember electronics work on smoke if you let the smoke out electronics don't work anymore so little tip Alrighty guys, have fun. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye.